Hello everybody, I'm so glad you are here. My channel is all about art journal, mixed media painting, collage, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. In case you don't know me, I'm Bea Grob and I love to inspire you. Hey Creative Drive, welcome back. And if you are new here, I'm glad you found my channel. It's another tutorial for you. Uh, it's again a collaboration with uh, four artists, four seasons. We are four artists and to, for each change of the season we make a background and then we either scan it or take a picture with the phone or the camera or whatever and send them digitally to each other. So we have four backgrounds here. And before I go further I just wanted to let you know it's going to be the last four artists four season uh, collaboration. I don't know whether you know or not, but I did run it and I kind of feeling I have done it several years now. I want to change up a little bit. So I'm going to start in January a whole new collaboration, which is Let Us Start With Art. It's all about artwork. It can be digitally, it can be mixed media, it can be watercolor, it can be collage, whatever, something non-functional something you can put on the wall or something like that. Anyway, uh, I have a whole bunch of artists together already and we're going to have each first Friday of the month a video hop. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to make an announcement anyway. You're going to see it on Facebook, on Instagram and I'm probably also going to make a little YouTube video about that. We'll see. Anyway, back to the winter collaboration. So we have those four backgrounds and this time I did put it instead of on paper I did put it on this overhead overhead foils sorry. So there are uh, those foils still available in the office uh, supply places but I very often get mine nowadays in the thrift store for a much better price, obviously. So, here we have Iolas. That is my background. That is Gina's. That is Chelsea's um, background, which I, as I said, printed on the transparencies. The thing I want to do with that is uh, I want to cut out stars. I want to make it like a window hanger with stars, but I also have those three glasses and I would have wanted to put in the LED lights, not a real candle. I'm we're living in a, in a wooden house and I'm not so fond of having real candles. <laughs> So that's what my plan is. Uh, as you can see over here I have my die cut. Uh, the, it's a C6 but any other brand works too. And I have my thinlet. So I'm gonna start with cutting out one of each size. Okay, uh, first I'm gonna cut off a piece to wrap around my glass. So that's what I'm gonna cut first. I do cut off the non-printed area, like with every home printer, uh, you can print to the edge. So she had a lot of areas which were not painted, that's okay, it's not a bad thing, leaving white space. Now on to the stars. I also have additionally a clear one because the way I want to do the stars uh, I need a second one.
Now I have four backgrounds, different backgrounds, but I would like to have an uneven number, so I'm gonna make five just to have an uneven number. Okay, I'm back. I have here my gel gloss. I have some glitter. This is a rather coarse glitter. I'm not sure how much it's going to show through, but I want to give a little bit of a bling, so to speak. And that's the reason why I have a box, because I'm going to put it inside here so that I don't have the glitter. Well, I'm still going to have it everywhere, but a little bit of contain. Anyway, and I just figured out I only have three glasses, so it means I have to leave out my own strip here so with those uh, foils there for with mine the type I use there's a matte and there's a glossy side and I want the glossy side on the outside but I did print on the matte side that's what that's the purpose of the being matte it is uh, the ink just sticks a little bit better So, there's already gold in there, <laughs> wonder why. Anyway, I'm going to start and smear, uh, actually, first I'm going to check, I think I have to cut it back a little bit, yep. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back, and I, frankly, I'm going to wing it. <laughs> Just don't feel like measure right now. Now I'm going to use the rubber bands to hold the thing in place until the gel medium is dry. Okay, now on to my stars on a string. <laughs> so, now I do have this silver thread. So that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to start by adding my gel medium and then adding the string and then adding glitter and then adding gel medium to those. And I have both rough sides going together so there's the rough side up and here's the rough side up i kind of have the feeling it is uh, more sticky that way so just i'm not sure but i'm i imagine <laughs>
Now that has obviously to dry. I'm gonna let it dry overnight and then I will take a picture with uh, my glasses and I'm gonna have those uh, LED uh, tea lights in there and uh, I'm gonna hang that somewhere just to give you an idea how I use it. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye.